Interview process of Uber was just like any other, um, I would say, big tech companies. It involved a couple of rounds around the data structures and algorithmic part, some machine coding with LLD and high level design followed up by behavioral round. All the rounds were of one hour time span. Now the eliminatory round, I would say, uh, was kind of like a medium to medium hard level round because in this particular round, I was asked just one data structures and algorithmic problem. The problem was eventually converged to quad trees. If you have not yet read about quad trees, I would highly recommend you to go and explore that on lead code. It's a very famous question. The problem was somewhere around DP on trees and DP on graph kind of like a problem. And let's say if you have already solved the ad coder DP contest, all the 25, 26 problems, then one of the, those problems kind of like was like 90% same. But to me, uh, the interesting thing was I had to also code the entities and the service layer. That means an end to end running code with final test cases was also expected. I was asked a parking lot problem. So fortunately, I already had solved the problem multiple times earlier. So I was able to technically code it. So if you have been following this channel, then you must be already aware that I recently left my job at Microsoft. Now, while leaving my job, there were a couple of interview processes that I actually went through and Uber was one of those. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about what was my interview process at Uber like? What were the different set of rounds, the difficulty level and the set of questions that were actually asked to me in my software engineering rounds at Uber. I'm going to give you a full clarity and an in-depth overview about how the Uber's interview process actually looks like. And if you're somebody who is actually applying to Uber or similar companies, then this video is going to be super helpful for you. So please watch the video till the end. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing because we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead. So let's just start. Before moving forward, I would like to tell you about our brand new offering at AlgoCamp around the advanced Spring Boot backend development cohort. So we were getting a lot of requests to actually launch our next iteration of the Spring Boot cohort and here we are. This one is far more bigger and better than the last one and trust me, if you are somebody who is looking to start their journey in the world of Spring Boot in the backend ecosystem or maybe you already know some things about backend development maybe in Spring Boot or maybe in some other tech stack this is going to be a one-stop solution for you. We are going to talk about everything from the absolute beginner level to the advanced level in Spring Boot. We are going to talk about how exactly you can set up your backend ecosystem and backend projects in Spring Boot. We are going to take a microservice driven architecture and build different different projects including an Uber app including Airbnb app payment wallet like Paytm wallet app and many more. We are going to talk about how exactly microservices can actually communicate with each other in synchronous and asynchronous fashion. We are going to see a lot of interesting microservices pattern like CQRS pattern, Saga pattern for distributed transaction, how you can implement Saga pattern through orchestration and choreography, how Saga pattern is going to help you with respect to the implementation if you compare that with two-phase commit, how you can implement each one of them, what is the outbox pattern, how exactly event sourcing is going to work, how you can integrate Kafka for your event sourcing and whatnot. We are going to see so many interesting database concepts like how exactly no SQLs are internally implemented using LSM trees what are write ahead logs, how you can replicate your databases, how you can shard your databases, how you can design a good database schema and whatnot. All the topics that we are going to cover must be listed in front of you on the screen here. What I can say is that this course is going to be one stop solution to become an advanced backend engineer in Spring Boot. This is definitely going to demand some good time commitment from all the students who are interested. But trust me, this is going to be one hell of a ride. So what are you waiting for? Do check out the link in the description section below and read the complete end-to-end -end syllabus of what we are going to cover in the Spring Boot cohort. You can actually use the coupon SPRING2025 to get maximum possible discount on the course and I'm really excited to see you guys in the cohort, right? Do check out the link description section below and let's get back to the video. So, like the interview process of Uber was just like any other, um, I would say, big tech companies. It involved a couple of rounds around the data structures and algorithmic part some machine coding with LLD and high level design followed up by behavioral round. So first of all, I got a call from the HR where they actually explained me the complete process. In this, they actually mentioned that there is going to be one eliminatory round and that is going to be a problem solving round. If I'm able to clear that, then I will be a part of a full loop. Full loop means that I have to give all the remaining rounds to uh, one after another. And after all of those are done, then there will be a cumulative decision taken, uh, will be taken on my profile. So that's how the whole process was actually like and once we are able to clear the process then the team matching and all will technically happen. So this was the complete overview of the interview process. 
one interesting thing was that my profile got shortlisted for a software engineer L5A role at Uber. L5A, you can say, is a senior software engineer on a, or an SD3 role. Uh, L5 at Uber, L5 at Google, or you can say L63 at Microsoft. Uh, all of these are kind of like the same levels. The, the recruiter already mentioned to me that the difficulty of the interviews are going to be on the level of L5A and I have to make sure that all of the rounds go very well, specifically the high level design round in order to make sure that we are able to meet up the mark according to that. So the first round was an eliminatory round. In this complete process, not just the eliminatory round but the, even the further set of rounds, all the rounds were of one hour time span. Now the eliminatory round I would say uh, was kind of like a medium to medium hard level round because in this particular round I was asked just one data structures and algorithmic problem. The problem was eventually converged to quad trees. If you have not yet read about quad trees I would highly recommend you to go and explore that on lead code. It's a very famous question. Uh, although if you have not um, I would say coded quad trees once on your own then it can be a I would say difficult affair to do in one hour. So I was already aware about quad trees and the problem actually converged to coding a quad tree and then solving that. This was a one hour interview and I was fortunate enough that I was only asked one question although the question was kind of like medium to medium hard. So it's expected that maybe if you are able to code the complete solution end to end you will be able to technically go through and that happened to my profile as well I was able to code the solution explain the time complexity and do the in-depth dry run as well and this round was um, I would say actually cleared I got a call from the recruiter the next day that we can start the full interview loop altogether. Now after the eliminated round, the first round that actually happened was again a data structures and algorithmic round. In this round also it was a one hour round and I was asked only one data structures and algorithmic problem. This time the problem I believe was slightly easier. It might be opinionated because the problem or I would say th those types of problems I had already solved. So the problem was somewhere around DP on trees and DP on graph kind of like a problem. And let's say if you have already solved the ad coder DP contest all the 25, 26 problems, then one of the, those problems kind of like was like 90% same. So I had already solved the problem uh, once. So this round was slightly a bit more easier for me but if let's say you have not seen the problem I would say the problem was on the difficulty level of medium so we had to again code the complete problem explain the solution time complexity that was already like I was able to do that um, in this this time uh, because it was a DP problem so I was able to first of all give a brute force solution and then post that we were able to optimize the brute force solution using DP so this round also ensured that we are having a correct working solution and the complexity analysis and the dry run is also on point that was also kind of like uh, an important judgment here and I believe the overall round went very well. The difficulty as I mentioned if you have not seen the problem already might be medium but if you have already seen the problem it can be easy medium as well. So that was my first round that was a problem solving round. Now the next round was interesting because the next round was kind of like a machine coding low level design round. In this round um, because it was for most probably because it was for an L5A role I was expected to do a machine coding problem solving with the expectation that I will do an end to end running code. So a lot of friends of mine actually interviewed at Uber for L4 role that is SD2 role and a lot of them actually mentioned to me that in most of their rounds they were only expected to code the entities that means the class and all the relationship between the classes. But to me uh, the interesting thing was I had to also code the entities and the service layer that means an end to end running code with final test cases was also expected. I was asked a parking lot problem so fortunately I already had solved the problem multiple times earlier so I was able to technically code it. I by mistake missed one of the use cases like for example the parking lot was expected to have uh, two wheelers, four wheelers and EVs as well. I am not sure how but I by mistake was not able to read EV part that there will be one more category EV but the overall solution that I coded was very extendable so the interviewer, interviewer was very happy that even if we have to introduce newer type of vehicles and newer type of spaces it was very easy to do that on that particular space. Also because it was a one hour round so I had to be very fast so to ensure that I don't lose the pace the interviewer said that I can just like use all the methods and the data members as public I don't need to do getter setters because it is going to take a lot of time and also uh, during the very end of the like when we were about to like uh, complete the round uh, because it was very less time 
so there were a couple of design patterns that i felt like could have been also added so instead of like directly coding i just mentioned those design patterns as comments that we can definitely even more uh, like modify this code even more better so i'll talk about this complete ld round and experience in a separate video but this was the overall round i believe the feedback was uh, i would say strong positive in this one as well because i was able to give a final working solution which was running fine on most of the test cases now the high level design round was an interesting round um, i was actually uh, paired with a very uh, senior principal engineer level uh, at uh, uber and um, so this round was pretty much interesting because i was expecting a very hard problem which will be having a very high scaling constraints but to my surprise the problem that was given to me was having um, i would say the overall scale was not that much it was more like a employee badging system so with the problem statement also already you must be able to understand that the scale of the system was not expected much instead what ex what was expected that um, i am able to give a final end to end working solution and during the round a lot of sql queries was also expected out of me based on my design so i chose because of this fact that the scale was not much and i wanted to keep the design simple because that's what engineering should be about it should be simple unless required uh, to make it complex so i kept the overall design simple kept some really simple db decisions so uh, we had a good discussion on db design and a lot of sql queries not running sql queries but just on the whiteboard it was expected that i was i am able to write the sql queries or not i believe that there were a couple of things that i missed here uh, like in the during writing the sql queries i assumed a few things that i should have not assumed and uh, then there were clarification questions that were asked later i felt that uh, if i could have been more i would say explicitly uh, or i would have explained those already uh, and mentioned those already then those follow up question could, would not have been there because those definitely created some confusion for like 5 7 minutes i believe that was the time when the uh, round was not going in my favor but then i actually caught uh, like uh, was able to really catch up well and give a end to end working solution with all the functionals and the non functional requirement being followed uh, the interviewer uh, looked uh, pretty much um, i would say satisfied but later definitely i got the feedback that um, it was not a 5 on 5 round uh, expectation because for l5a uber's expectations are very very high you cannot like lose even a single point i believe so they said that it is definitely uh, a good hire call from their end but i could have done better and uh, this might uh, lead to some discussions later but i was okay that let's see let's see what the final result will actually come out So now Uber's behavioral round is one of the most interesting behavioral rounds I I believe I have given because in most of the time let's say if you interview for companies they have a very set uh, like pre uh, I would say pre set of questions like um, what have been some of the challenging situations what have been some conflicting situations these kind of like regular questions are there but interestingly to my surprise my interviewer actually asked me a very different type of a question they actually asked me a question which was more like a pm or a business development kind of like a question they mentioned that let's say i have a very big farmland i and i want to let's say set up a dairy business or let's say something like that there how i will go about on this particular problem so this was kind of like a surprise to me but overall i uh, kept my thoughts open and like followed all the basic engineering principles because i thought the overall hiring is for software engineering so i should actually showcase that how i'm able to think as an engineer all together for the problem i proposed a good solution i believe uh, and the interviewer also looked pretty much uh, satisfied they asked me so just a basic set of questions apart from this that okay uh, what kind of work i have previously done what are, what are the tech stacks that i have previously worked on and what projects i have actually led these were the set of questions that was actually asked to me on my behavioral round and that was it those were the set of rounds that i actually gave uh, so after a lot of discussion uh, and these rounds uh, my recruiter actually mentioned that they will be actually going for the final review during the final review again as i mentioned the hld round was the one that actually came up as kind of like 4 out of 5 because of which they actually said that they are okay to hire hire me as a high l4 instead of l5a i would say a high l4 is an l4 so technically this was a down leveling uh, uh, from uber's point but i was also okay with that because i knew that uh, they already mentioned in hld round is it's one of the most important round my recruiter already mentioned to me that i cannot go sideways like even for a single point in hld and because that happened that uh, confusion on the sql queries actually happened uh, i believe that was one of the foremost reasons but again uh, detailed feedback must be with them so they were okay to uh, offer me a software engineer into l4 position they mentioned that the compensation and all will be according to a high l4 uh, and that was all about this particular round and post this round uh, they will be actually starting the team matching process 
so i hope the overall procedure of uber's interview process is making sense to all of you i'll be making a detailed video around the low level design and a separate detailed video on the high level design aspect what were the problems that were asked to me how i actually approached the problem and how did i prepare so keep an eye on the channel uh, for those set of videos and do subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the video and do hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications possible that being said let's wrap this particular video here and we're going to meet soon in the next set of videos till then take care guys bye bye i'm sanket singh Signing off.